Hi, everybody. Welcome to Long Island. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Zabalski. The Islanders will get a chance to enjoy some home cooking for an extended period, Ray. Always good to get home to play some games in a row where you can build a routine again. Once you start bouncing around, it really gets difficult as the games pile up and you don't get any rest. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. Bergeron's won it. Puck picked up by McAvoy. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Muzzin's gaining momentum. Centering pass! Oh, there's going to be a regret in this one. That might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just missed the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Quick feed to Marchand. Paddled away by Varlamov. The Islanders slide it through center. Takes a blast. Brilliant save. Run it perfectly. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. The Islanders have it against the wall. Here's the pass. And that's picked off in front. Nice zone entry from the left. Picked up along the boards by Petrie. Pays it off from the point. Denies him with the save. Draft's been doing this all year. The team wins because he stops the puck at a high level. New York's got it from behind the net. Across the line from center. Gets in front of it. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Kasha. Can't get it to go. No corner given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And that's blocked. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. And sends it just out of reach. Through center along the wing. Moves it to Coyle. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Stop that one. More than half the period left to play. We've still got zeros on the board. Clock is dropped and we are back underway. Quick pass to Simmons. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Boston's got it across the line. Puck scooped up by Boychuk. Passes it over to Clutterbuck. Way down in front, and that one's broken up. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a shot, comes up with a stop. Scores! On the rebound, he pops it. Really good positioning here. The goal scorer gets inside the defenseman, takes the rebound, and throws it up at the top bin. Get a little breathing room as they take a 1-0 lead. They've worked hard for this goal, James. There's not been much room on the ice, but they're able to get out in front. And he slides it quickly to McAvoy. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. 12 minutes, 26 seconds. Right in front of the net! Comes up with the stop. Moves it quickly over to Merrill. Houdon's got it across the line. New York's moving it up the ice. Taken by Bailey. Fantastic save! Rask's sharp to make that stop. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. 
There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. The Bruins will serve two for holding. He's not going to like the call, but he's got a fifth full of sweaters. You're going to have to pay for it. You can't take it home with you. The Islanders will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Down by one, now you've got a power play. Boston Make sure that you're organized and, and look for the time to Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. He gets it out of his own end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Looking to set up offensively. Quick feed to Nelson. Denied by the goaltender. New York still trailing here in this opening period despite excellent scoring opportunities in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Tatar. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Gains the zone through the middle. Passes right to the front. Can't connect. Pumped off the puck. Here's a chance right in the slot. Stones him in front. Good clearing attempt to breathe. From their own end, and they'll get a fresh set of legs out there on this man advantage. He was locked in there. Dead center, excellent save. And that one's broken up. Now he takes it over the line. Great chance in front. Scores! That was impressive. Man, a bad power play can suck the life out of your team. One that looks like that and then scores a goal. Maneuverability in a tight spot down by the net. He gets the pass and he one times that in from the low slot. In the final moments of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. This neutral zone face off set to go, and we are back underway. Offside the call, and we'll have a face off just outside the blue line. Possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Hammers it on net. Huge stop by Harlemo. Puts it in for the go-ahead goal. The of the game now. You finally got the lead. You worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. This is really terrific awareness here. He puts the shoulder fake on, great hands, pulls everybody out of position, and lays a sauce over for his teammate to finish. Boston's effort pays off. They've taken the one goal lead. Deserved one goal lead too, James. I think they've played quite well, but now you got a little bit of an opening. He's Try and stretch the, the lead. Scored by number 11. Cut grab by Martin. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Scooped up along the wall by Petrie. With the blast. Big time stop. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. New York got control of it now from their own end. In the first period. Martin's got the puck. Check our 
nearing the midway mark of the period. New York's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Makes the save! Lee's been on fire lately. His point streak's starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like he'll score any game. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. New York's won the faceoff. Unloads it! Comes up with the stop! New York's been able to play themselves to the top of the league standings with a consistent season. From the goaltender to the guys doing their scoring, it's been an excellent year. The Islanders will go to work here in the offensive zone. Takes the shot! Oh! Makes the save! That was a rocket! New York's got it in the offensive zone. Hammers the shot! What a stop! Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. And he's going off interference the call, Ray. Looks like a pretty easy call to make as he completely cuts off the lane for the player to skate through. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. You can set a special team trend if your first power play is a positive one. Get some shots, get some pressure. Bergeron's back in the play after getting a new stick at the bench. Center down in front, and that's broken up. Right up the gut, here they go. James, he's only one goal away from the next plateau. He's really working the puck now. And we've got a two-on-one. He scores! What a counterpunch shot! And teams are talking more and more about being aggressive when they're down to man. This is the result every once in a while. You're going to punch one through shorthanded. That's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. New York's offense is showing no signs of letting up in the second. I've never liked when a team takes their foot off the gas pedal. If it's your night, go score. Go feel good about yourself. Slides it diagonally to Letty. Tries to get it over to Bailey. Boston's gained possession. Quick pass to Marchand. And by number 47, Leo Colmer. The Islanders will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. 59 seconds. Taken by Beauvillier. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Bruins take it across the blue line. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Centering pass! Knocked away. And a puck check knocks the puck away. Gets it over to Coyle. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Couldn't make that one happen. And now it's grabbed by Bailey. And he's ridden off the puck. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Passes right to the front. Overshot it. Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. The Bruins are on the attack. The Islanders get a hold of the puck under man. Bailey's got it along the wing. Oh, what a stop. Rask's one of the group today for sure. It's not been very good from him all the way out. Handles the puck. Kovarov sure been fun to watch tonight. He's got three points in the game already. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Bruins certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. And I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The shorthanded goal, of course, is the exclamation point. Huge! Oh. He, he got all of that one, Ray. Yeah, that is direct oh. contact. What a solid hit. He laid out right from the bottom of his feet, right through the top of his shoulders. Denies him! Oh, and another big stop! After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Here's a chance to set up now. Misses wide of the net! You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Backhand with intention. Stick save and a beaut by Barlamov. Another sellout crowd here tonight. It's kind of a broken record when we say that these yeah, days. Yeah, it's starting to be the, the regular deal here. As the team plays well, the crowd follows. 
New York's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. And now he moves it to Martinez and makes the save. New York's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. The Bruins win the draw. Moves it quickly over to Houdon. The Islanders grab possession to the puck. Takes the pass. He scores! Now it's only a two-goal game. Also, it gets progressively better for them, but they need another one. They got to throw a quick back-to-back -back goal up here. Goalie gets a little bit of this, almost beat cleanly, but it's not going to matter. It's in the net anyway. Boston's got something to build on here as we approach the third period, Ray. Give them a little chance as they trail in this game. But man, they've got to be a lot better. Four by number 11. Max it into the offensive zone. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Taken by Boychuk. One minute left. Second intermission approaching quickly here. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. The Islanders take possession here in the open ice. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. Just a friendly reminder about tonight's silent auction. All items can be used in Bitterbond at the display near the guest services counter. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Year. Marchand's got it against the boards. Snaps it onto the net, gives them nothing in front. Petrie's always been an effective player at both ends of the ice. You can see here with the plus-minus groupings, he's shown effectiveness at both ends. The Islanders lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Quick feed to Nelson, and they fail to go take to take. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. Lose the puck. Thunderous hit. Oh, my. Now, yeah, that one hurt me over. 
over here. That is an enormous hit. He closed the gap in a hurry. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Just wide. Grabbed along the board by Gustafson. Here's a blast. Oh, and he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a good look, look at that. Here we go. we got a penalty coming up right here. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. Connor, just as he was picking up speed, he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. New York's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. Cuts into the paint. Puck grabbed by Muzzin. Denied by the goaltender. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Oh, he's trying to shoot that off the glass. James under a little bit of pressure. He panics. Shoots it over the window. Now he's got to go feel shame for two minutes. <laughs> then you go free after that, right? The Islanders with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. Not often you get a five on three of this length. You can score early. You might be able to get two. That's going to be a penalty. We're going to have to call that. We've got a minor penalty coming up here. Sure, James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. The Bruins with a four-on-three power play, and they've got plenty of time to go to work. Not a very good penalty to take. You're up five-on-three if the puck escapes. You let it go down the ice. Now you put one of your man advantage guys in the box. And they can't convert to the play. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Looks for breakout options behind his own cage. Pushes it across to Letty. Gains the zone through center. On the doorstep, and they can't connect. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. The Islanders are off to the box. Interference the call. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, in the wrong spot. Just turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it lump it. Critical face-off looming with a little three-on-three -three hockey on tap. Face-off really critical, James. Three-on-three. Three. Once you have the puck, you play to possession. It doesn't work if you're always chasing it. Muzzin's style's not really going to change that much, but I know he's getting talked to by the coaches continually about trying to rein in the penalty minutes. This is a list you don't want to be on. New York's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Hammers the shot! Plenty of playing time left in this frame. New York's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead at 5-3. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle, and this power play will come to an end as another man's off to the box. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Whole team's ready for the face-off with a little three-on-three -three looming. I think what we've seen from three-on-three three is that puck possession is critical. You'll see teams with the puck come back up to center, get fresh guys on the ice. It's become a strategic time of the game. Here's a blast, and he stands tall and cold. The centers will glide into the dot. The Islanders win it. Puck picked up by Petrie. Denies him. He got all of it. They go on the attack through center. Here's a shot. Quick stop by Varlamov. Unable to reach that one. Now a quick pass to Martinez. Slides the puck over. Oh, what a big time stop by Varlamov. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. No one back to 2 on Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the but he gets caught from behind. Cutting to the slot. That goes off the mask. Somehow the 
shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. And makes the save. Works it across to Bergeron. Nice zone entry from the middle. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He's not had a break since that puck hit the ice about two hours ago. Every time they come into the zone, he's forced to make another stop. New York's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Taken along the wall by Pasternak. New York's got the puck shorthanded. Stays with it. The Bruins take possession in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Bergeron. Picked up along the boards by Marchand. Back at the point, they set it up. Couldn't complete the play. Grabs the puck here in their own end. New York's got it into the offensive zone. Big save by the goaltender. Big hit! Wow, James, sometimes you think you can get through a lane, but the lane is closed. That's a dead end. New York's penalty killers get a hold of it. With possession along the wall. Grips it and rips it! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. He's got a step! Oh, what a stop by the goaltender! I thought he was beaten, but he makes a nice stop here. The Bruins move to the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Moves it to Simmons. From the blue line, they take control of it. Steps into all of that. And that's picked off in front. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Stop by the goaltender. Nice feed from the right wing. Boston's on the attack. Right in front with the shot. Denies him. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Oh. Scores. And there it is, number 10 on the season for the freshman. All these times to work with new level and continue to produce like he did in your old one. He's done a nice job. The power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. Face off here at center ice. Double digits as a rookie. Can't go wrong with that. No, the team is really happy with the production. He's got 10 Bruins goals already. Is Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. With the stop. I don't know if you dream about scoring a hat trick in your first year. First, you just want to get to the league. Then you want to score. Now you got a chance for this. The Penguins are who the fans can look forward to seeing next year in town. Yeah, they enjoy when these two teams get together. It's usually a pretty feisty affair. It's also Ray Ferraro bobblehead night that night. So get the best scores! Leading goal scorer finishes another one. New York's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Bruins win the faceoff, and it's a quick pass to Marshall. New York's got the puck in their own end. Assisted by number right on the doorstep. Deflected away. Defensive using the stick there. Quick pass to Marchand. New York's got the puck along the boards. Into the offensive zone. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Martinez. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Quick feed to Coyle. Move to the middle. Oh! Shaking his head on that as they were so close. And he coughs it up with the pass. Puck scooped up by DeBrusk. No room for that one to get through. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Saucers it tape to tape. The Bruins have it against the wall. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. He scores! You're down by a couple. You want to give yourself the opportunity for a time goal. They've done that with this one here. It's really good work off 
offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. Boston's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away, and now you got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. By number 13, Scooped up along the wall by Udall. With the stop. Here's a chance. Dropped over the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Beauvillier. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Here's a chance. Oh, Watch. He scores. Anders Lee makes it count. have been the busier team in the shot department and they lead it late in this third period. The Bruins get a hold of the puck off the draw. Oh, oh devastating hit. I'm telling you, James, sometimes it's in the back of the net. He scores! I hey, just stop thinking about the Bruins. Now we got another. That's 30 seconds of more. The team is going to officially call this one around now. Yeah, this is a speed roll. This is over. If you can work yourself in that close to the net and then get loose, man, you're just hoping somebody can find you. He won times after a goal. The Islanders have been enjoying pad the stat night here. It's been going all night long here, even in the third. They came to play tonight. They have not let their opponent breathe, and it has been a dominating performance. And that was stopped. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Wrist went in front, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. New York's on the attack. Cut across. Blocker save. A chance in front. Denies him again. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. The team would like to thank you for your continued support. The Islanders have pummeled their opponents tonight. They have been the busier team offensively and have converted numerous times here in this third period. Taken by Petrie. And that's the hat trick lesson in this place. And here come the hats. I love this tradition. I will tell you, they collect the hats up. They used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else. up this rebound makes no mistake once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net the goalie's at your mercy and he does not miss the islanders have been all over them tonight and it continues here in this third they haven't taken their foot off the accelerator for one second tonight i've been really impressed how they dominated this game the Bruins carry it along the wall. That's intercepted. Not a bad look. This is some open ice. He turns it over. Here's a shot. Oh, what a slick stuff by Rask. Jobs had the wheel over to the bench game to stick break. He needed a new one. And icing is the call. We'll do it one more time before this thing wraps up. You ever watch paint dry? It feels like it right now. Oh, you're watching it right now. New York's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Boston's got it in the defensive zone. This is a big draw for him. His players were a little tired around him. On the attack along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Couldn't find the intended target. Sends a pass over. Long reach breaks up the momentum.
And the Yes movement is alive after another Islanders win. You win at home here, and the Yes chant goes up. It sounds awesome. Hooray, Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.